So hello, I hope everyone's good. So yeah, um, today we are going to Amman in Woodney for lunch. My egg is done. I just need to brush my teeth, do my lashes. This is I did my lashes myself. So yeah, waist invisible, boob zero. I showed them because they didn't pay me in full, so I went to them. <laughs> How can you make a mistake like that? Sorry. for <laughs> How much is this? How much is this? It's 100 rand. This thing is 100 rand, right? And the bottle is 300 rand. Let me just say again what you said. <laughs> I'm thinking of getting the bottle, guys. That's like 100 for 300. That's 400 on three. Never cut to my money. No, you do. You do. Does champagne even taste nice? Yeah. It doesn't No. I'm a, what did we order? Like, what's the problem? 
What is the name? What is the name of the thing? Oh, okay. Food, but I wouldn't say like it was food to my mom. The pasta was amazing. Mm. Yeah, the pasta was amazing. Yeah, that's what I say. That's what I say. Uh, yeah, anyway, when you go to, to Indian Lake, there's cover up if you are high, cover up because those wolves will take advantage. I was harassed today. That man held my hand and he was like let me talk to you and i was like no and usually with zulu gents when you say no they let you go bye sorry mama or when you say bye sorry mama you know gents or men those zulu men i don't know where they were from probably not from south africa <laughs> but they were just horrible like the one kept grabbing my arm and he actually hurt me and my friend had to step in and actually like defend me because she's so hurry, okay, this is scaring her. This, this men, these men, because that now they made a circle. It was a big thing now. Did they not entertain this gent? Like, instead of just helping me, they entertained it. And they even went as far as to threaten her because she was like, trying to get me away from them because she's so hurry, I, was, I wasn't okay. I was actually scared. This man was still holding onto my hand. Yo, guys, he eventually let it go. He was so kind to let it go and then he grabbed her hand and now he was arresting her and it was just horrible it was a horrible experience and i i feel like if i had gone because i do pass mtn to go to work and i'm usually closed for work like i'm covered up for work i feel like had i not worn that dress why is it again sis had I not worn that dress, I would have been left alone. But unfortunately, in South Africa, whatever you wear is a determining factor on how you will be treated by men. So, yeah, don't wear revealing clothes. Um, don't wear sandals. Don't wear sandals. Go empty in, guys. Don't ever do that. <sighs> what else did I learn? I don't know. And it was just a hectic day. I traveled a long distance. We left the, the restaurant around half four. I got here at eight, half eight. <sighs> the longest journey. I now need to get a car. Like, I'm not like bashing taxis. I always take a taxi to work. I always take a taxi to like, my nearest town. But that distance and taxi, no, <laughs> no, it's not safe. No, and it's just, it's not working for me, so I'm giving myself a year, and then I'm gonna get a car, I, I don't give a damn, it must happen, but anyway guys, I drank my water, I washed, drinking my coffee, and I'm gonna have a conversation with this one, say bye everyone, say love you, say love you, say bye, <laughs> say make bye, Make for them, make for them, make for them, bye. 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 <laughs> make for them, make for them, like this. Make for them, look. <laughs>